Welcome back to Ferocious Education, this is that. Today I'm going to be giving an update on BNGO. You'll find my previous DD in the description so you can watch it after. Make sure to drop a like on this video to help this channel grow. Subscribe and leave notifications on to get the latest out of my videos. Without further ado, we're going to go through technical analysis, news, and then how I'm going to be playing this talk. Uh, considering everything going with it. So first things first, we look into uh, ADX. The ADX is sitting in at 51.63. I believe the last time I did a video on it, it was really entering towards the 50s, and I did say after the 50s, consider selling. Usually above the 50s um, is a warning sign that average directional index really shows up uh, and gives you that gives you ca that kind of information. William percent R is sitting in at oversold. So that's a good bullish uh, indicator there. Momentum seems to be a little bit sideways, so not a lot of things going on there. Uh, MACD here looks like it's actually signaling almost a negative uh, MACD. So it's going to be testing the negative MACD probably in the next week, sometime uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. And if that does reach negative, that's a really bad sign. Uh, moving in towards uh, volume, it seems that it's actually losing quite a bit of volume from what it did have uh, in terms of the run. Uh, 10 SMA is still above the 30 EMA. The stock price is just about the, three, uh, the 200 SMA. So above the 200 SMA, that's bullish. Uh, as soon as it hits the, uh, the 200 SMA, consider just below that, consider selling uh, at that point, uh, which is currently sitting at 0.77. Now, uh, between the 10 SMA and the 30 EMA, that's a trading action zone, uh, which the price is currently in, and that's where reversals are really likely. But the trading action zone is quite big, so it could be anywhere from 0.65 to 0.81. The stock price is still above the 50 SMA, so it's a little bit off bullish with uh, a little bit of a warning sign there because everything is considered almost at a stake at this point where uh, it can really drop quite frankly. Uh, going in towards the one hour perspective here, you see the MACD is curling up and it actually turned positive. Uh, so you might actually see a little bit of a jump later on on Monday. Uh, ADX indicates a little bit of a sloppy movement there. It's sitting in a neutral and momentum is very close to zero. Stock price still above the uh, 200 SMA. Trading under the 50 SMA and the 10 SMA and the 30 EMA are touching. So the averages are a little bit messed up here on the one hour. Uh, technicals are indicating a sloppy movement. And you get to see here that in the last five days, it hit its lowest and highest almost in the trade, same trading, uh, sorry, same day uh, or uh, same trading day. Now moving on towards uh, averages, you get to see that the stock price is above that band and so that band still hasn't been met yet. That's a little bit of an interesting thing to see. Uh, we're also looking at it here. We get to see that the 10 SMA and the 200 SMA are touching. It doesn't mean much, but it's quite interesting to see. Uh, unbalanced volume seems to a little bit be a little bit too high and it's trading a little bit more sideways in that perspective now moving on towards supports and resistances resistance at 0.81 in terms of fibonacci retracement and a support sitting in somewhere around 0.77 um, and then we can get to see another one around 0.75 seems to be a better support 0.74 and fibonacci support is sitting in a 0.72 uh, now we're looking at another support under that around point, uh, 0.66, Fibonacci support 0 0.62 to 0.63, and then another support happening in 0.59. Now the resistance, uh, resistance 0.83, uh, after of course the Fibonacci one at 0.81, and we're looking at uh, 0.85, uh, and then right above that is around 0.89, not and then we're looking at 0.93, and then above that, there's a lot of room to grow up to a dollar. So, uh, looks pretty interesting. Now, let's try to look in terms of trends. Here is our trend line. Yeah, that trend line has broken, so the current trend line basically has formed on the last trading day. Not a good sign to see, unless you're counting this one here, where there's a lot of downfall. That could be as well a trend. Now, let's try to look quickly in terms of the three months, one day. Try to identify if there's any trends there that might have been not broken, not seen there. Uh, so you can consider this to be a trend line, although it's a weaker trend line, uh, not a significant trend there. Uh, a little bit of something to look at, look for here uh, is we can see heads and shoulders here, which is bearish. Yet uh, I believe it received news on the 24th. I got a kick out of it and then continued down sloppy. So what it looks like, it's actually still waiting in perhaps either an accumulation period here uh, where it needs to trade a little bit sideways before any major thing happens or any movement happens. It's definitely a little bit dangerous here. And uh, I'm going to go on quickly through news and I'm going to discuss this a little bit later. So next catalyst or could be a catalyst is the platinum sponsor for the cancer genomics 
consortium and usually these kind of things where they're sponsoring something uh usually get a little bit of news or presentation or company highlight might be a positive catalyst for people pick up on it uh especially but it's not really a conference for for the company itself it's more of a contribution the latest com latest um news on this one was on the 29th relating to uh, genome imaging provides essential scaffolding results in high-profile bad genome study. And as I said in my previous DD, this one, this company has, uh, because the technology is really good, they have a lot of attention from studies. Latest um, entry on this one is 29th for an insider buying 30,000 shares at 23,000 uh, in terms of the total. Pride and wealth management. And what we're looking at here is they have a wealth of around 96 million. So, uh, that's a bit of an interesting part of theirs. 82 positions. Uh, a company that holds Apple, Amazon, and a bunch of others. Although, um, it's quite interesting to see. If still, people have... Still, insider buyings are uh, of an interest. Now, how would I trade this? What I would want to look at is multiple things here. So, on the one-day perspective, I would like to see this average directional index to hit a little bit closer to 40s. 50 is a little bit too high. It's a warning sign. Uh, in terms of William percent R, if it, did, it looks good as it is at this point. Uh, MACD, I would like to see it at least get denied that negative MACD, hopefully, and then bounces right off. At that point, that signals a little bit of a bullish point for me. I, I want it above the 200 SMA and stays above the 200 SMA. If it dips below, that might be a little bit of a dangerous sign. Uh, it's still in the trading action zone. There's still hope for me. So if I'm still in this position, I would consider selling on a hold until... The MACD fixes. Uh, if it does fixes and he bought above the 116, what I would do is I would average down a little. That's been my DD on this one. What do you think about this ticker? Make sure you mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and you have a wonderful day.